That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back, and this is our final video that we're gonna be making for this semester. This is Speak Now to the Final Review. That's right, we've made it through the full semester, and this is the last part of our book. So get ready, because we're gonna go have some fun and wrap up the stories all together. So what do we have here? Let's get started with this started and have some fun. What we have here, we've got the conversation. Casey has finally made it all the way to Australia and she's gonna tell us about things that happened while she was there. Some of the things I can believe, some of them can be a little bit strange, but it looks like she found something. She may have found something and we don't know what she's gonna do with it. Maybe she's going to return it or don't know how she's gonna deal with it. What would you do if you found something that didn't belong to you, but looked like it was very valuable. Would you keep it? Would you return it? What would you do? Okay, there's no right answer. Let's just see what Casey does. Hello, hello, can you hear me? Hi, Casey. Hi, Casey. Hi, everyone. How do you like Sydney? I love it. I think it's an amazing city. Everyone is really nice, and the city is just beautiful. Did you go to Kakadu National Park yet? Not yet. I just got here. How's the weather? It's warm during the day and colder at night, but I have lots of sweaters, thanks to Jill. Yay. I have to tell you guys something that happened. What happened? Tell us. What? Sure. Before I got to my hotel, I was really excited. But when I got to my hotel, I felt awful. It was nothing like the pictures. Oh no. I complained, but they wouldn't give me my money back. That's terrible. After that, I left to find another hotel. I was walking around when I noticed something. What? What? I found a wallet. There was a lot of money in it, but no ID. How much was it? Around 3,000 US <gasps> dollars. Wow. What would you do if you found all that money? Wow. That's a lot of money. If I were you, I'd give it to the police. I'm not sure I agree. You could stay at a nicer hotel. I don't know what I would do. I would be honest and give it to the police. I feel exactly the same way. Okay, so guess what I did? You kept it? You spent it. Nope. I did what Eric and Marie would do and gave it to the police. And guess what? What? As soon as I turned it in, the man who lost the wallet contacted me. It turns out he owns one of the best hotels in Sydney. No way. Yes way. So I get to stay for free. That's awesome. Wow. See, it pays to be honest. I have to go. I have a tour, but I'll see you guys again soon. Bye, Casey. Bye, Casey. Travel safe. Can I see Tommy? <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye. Bye. All right. So now, Casey got to go to Australia. She turned in the wallet, and the guy who lost the wallet was very grateful. Again, it's something that probably when you're finding something, best to turn it in. Uh, somebody else is going to miss it. Especially put yourself in the place of whoever lost it, what would you do? Would you want it returned, yes or no? Okay, so go back, watch the video, watch it again and get some information. And who says the things? What does Casey say? What does Eric say? Tom, Jill, or Maria? What do they say in the conversation? And then answer the question for yourself. Think about hypothetically, what would you do? If you didn't like your hotel room. What would you do if you found something? Do you use video chat? Do you like to talk to the camera? Or do you like uh, talking face-to-face -face or through FaceTime? What do you usually use? Now let's review the four units for this. First, I think it's fun. What's the best place in your country? What's the best place in Korea to go and spend some time? If I was coming to Korea for the first time, where do you think I should go visit? What do you think that I should do? What things should I try? What foods? What places? 
and how would I stay? Feeling the same way. Think about giving your opinion. What would you do? Do you think that this is something that is important? Do you think this is something that's not important? How would you feel about different things? Remember, hypothetical situations. When something could happen, how would you deal with it? Also, what should or would you do? If you broke your friend's camera, what do you think you should do? Should you repair it? Should you just give it back to them and say, mm, I broke it, sorry. What would you do? How would you treat that situation? And follow up the story. How does the story end? Don't forget to use signposts as you're talking about those informations. Now, we'll get into the last thing, and I know, yes, yes this yes, is the yes, best yes, part. Yes. I know. Yes. This is the last homework assignment. So hopefully you won't be going, <gasps> but you can finish it off and finish the semester well. So what do we have? First, go back, watch the video conversation, and fill in the missing parts of the conversation. Uh, some parts are easier than others, but go ahead, fill in the missing parts of your conversation. Then, we have to talk about the gerunds and infinitives. Now, gerunds and infinitives are very important, and you will see them in grammar a lot. A gerund is when you take a verb and you add the ing ending to it. Now, a gerund can also be used as an adjective. Talk about boring. You can, this, I am boring my audience to death. I am boring, it's a helping verb. Or this class is boring. Oh no, I hope this class isn't, okay. Okay, I know it's boring. Okay, I, I know, I know. But I hope it's not too boring. And an infinitive is when we put a verb that doesn't do any action. It is sitting there all by itself waiting to do some action. An infinitive always has to in front of it. So to work, to do, to drive, to sleep, to read, to go, always has to. So take a look at this. Make sure you practice through the gerunds and through the infinitives. Then. Go in and put the right verb in for these sentences. Sherry dislikes to gossip. Mm. Sherry dislikes gossiping better. Fill in the best one that you can. And then put the correct form of the verb into the sentence. Rob, you should avoid lying to the teacher. Not, you should avoid to lie. Mm. You have one active verb. You have to decide whether you need the helping, the gerund, or whether you can go ahead and move on with the infinitive. All right, one more grammar part, using gerunds. Gerunds can be used in many different ways and act like nouns, but they name things as, such as activities like playing basketball, skiing, crying, <laughs> and working. These are things that we can do and they can become uh, the subject of our sentence. So go through, read this, Practice using the gerunds wherever you can. All right, so here's the last part. Finish on this paragraph, putting in the correct verb to finish these verb phrases. Maria Mara is embarrassed about forgetting Bill's birthday. I would be too. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is it for our class. We have gone through 32 units, eight reviews, and 16 weeks, or excuse me, 15 weeks of classes. This is the last video. Have a great, wonderful time, and I will see you in class very soon. Get ready for your final exams, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.